Hey guys, this is Jody Eric Matthews from Grape Kool-Aid. And we were all set this weekend to launch, uh, you know, our launch our platform. Uh, loads of free tutorials, tips, uh, reviews of software, uh, giving you direction on where you can get free software, tips, tutorials, uh, reviews of stuff, just overall helping you to produce your, uh, your creative life the way you want to produce it. Then this happened. Uh, Adobe acquired Algorithmic. Now, a lot of you guys uh, don't understand who Algorithmic is, and we'll get into that in a second. But first, let's kind of uh, talk about what this means. Adobe acquiring Algorithmic is uh, the biggest news in quite a while in DCC uh, software and applications. Essentially, uh, Adobe, who's you know one of the hugest software companies in the world, has acquired the leading game uh, materials, look development, and uh, substance creation platform uh, right now in the industry. So what is substance? Uh, as substance painter, substance designer, what is that? Uh, algorithmics, products, uh, substance painter, substance designer are right now the de facto go-to applications for uh, creating looks, creating materials, creating substances for 3D models for game work. So look at it this way. Uh, substance painter is really, if you're familiar with Adobe's uh, Adobe's Adobe Photoshop, Substance Painter's uh, Photoshop for 3D models. And along with tools such as ZBrush and uh, Marmoset, they have spawned and spurred this new era of creative tools, uh, you know, empowering games to take on the look that they have in the last, let's say, three to four years. So a lot of that amazing imagery that you're looking at coming from some of the uh, some of those games which rivals Hollywood Hollywood VFX is a direct byproduct of these tools of design uh, substance painter substance designer they're well integrated into uh, game engines such as Unreal and Unity uh, which gives them an opportunity to not only affect uh, the pipelines of major AAA game companies, but gives it the opportunity at that point to to uh, uh, kind of you know spur what's next, what's coming next, because the tool set itself allows designers to get past some of the limitations that they had, you know, maybe just six years ago. So what does that mean for you as an independent filmmaker? Well, what that means. You know, essentially, is as Adobe is bringing into a Creative Cloud, that's their suite of, uh, or their tool suite, which contains Photoshop and After Effects and Premiere Pro and Illustrator and InDesign on the design side. Substance Painter and Substance Designer are coming into that fold. Now, why is Adobe doing this? They're doing this because in the last couple of years, they have jumped into the fray as far as some, some 3D packaging design with dimension and uh, most recently uh, AR and VR with Project Arrow, which is kind of still in beta. Now, one thing I want to say uh, really quickly and uh, just so you know, we're, we're transparent here, which is what we want to do here, Great Clue. We want to always want to be transparent. We want to let you guys know where we're coming from. Um, I have and do uh, consult for Adobe. Okay, I've consulted specifically in the area of 3D apps, and I'm almost positive, uh, and I can be pretty confident in saying that I probably some of the some of the uh, consulting and some of the uh, survey work that I've done with Adobe as a paid consultant has probably been reflected in this purchase. So, um, in this acquisition of, of substance designer and substance uh, 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 painter. Uh, so I want to be truly uh, clear about that. And I want to make sure that everybody understands that this, that in no way is going to color my, you know, what my thoughts are here about this purchase and it, whether it's good or bad. Now, leaping to the good and bad part. Uh, yeah, 
the internet kind of blew up yesterday because uh, by and large, a lot of gaming people didn't look at this as a positive step. They see the independence of an of a independent software company being uh, once again gobbled up by a huge company. They fear what's going to happen to the product. I will, have, I, I will say this. Um, Adobe doesn't have a great track record in acquisitions of software. Uh, and then that software, uh, you know, continuing its upward track as far as ingenuity and stuff, partly because they're a large company. And the first thing they want to do is pull that software into the fold. They want to make sure that that software works with the current suite of tools they have. So you're going to, you know, I don't think this will happen in a year because from what I understand, uh, algorithmic software dev, uh, dev team is going to stay in place. The product is probably going to continue on whatever roadmap they had uh, currently in place, but maybe for two, uh, two, uh, 2020, 2021, you're going to see somehow, some way you're going to see that software fold itself into creative cloud, become closely aligned with, uh, premier pro after effects and whatever 3d offering, uh, project arrow, if it is, hopefully fuse uh you know that would be a great uh a great thing to see and and hopefully you're going to see that product uh kind of operate a little bit closer with the suite of products one thing i hope i don't see is uh the product go away and then its best attributes be folded into photoshop i think photoshop uh right now needs to kind of become a little leaner i thought the uh lean towards 3d uh was a failed attempt i think it is a failed attempt I think they need to uh, lose that if they can and get back to basics, uh, making it uh, the uh, premier uh, photo editing and, uh, and, and image editing program that it, that it once was, okay? Um, but enough of that, we'll talk about that later. So what does this mean? It, 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 you know, for Adobe, it means that they're moving themselves into 3D, which, uh, that's definitely a space they need to go in. Uh, you know, video editing has kind of peaked out. Uh, you know, it's more of a social media thing as far as the consumer base is. Uh, you know, they're still doing well as far as pro apps and their commitment to pro apps is still seems to be strong. So for them, it's a, it's a good move. It's a good acquisition. Now, if, if you're an independent artist and you're looking at it and you're saying to yourself, you know, I, uh, I trust substance. Uh, they've made amazing, uh, tools and the hooks and their ability to be able to work with diverse software suites, whether it's their, uh, ability to work with Autodesk, their ability to be able to work with, um, Houdini side effects uh, on the game engine side, whether it's unreal and unity and their ability to be able to work with that. It, you know, our fear is, is, is that going to continue? Hopefully so. Okay. Cause now you've got large company, Adobe, uh, uh, working with Autodesk, also another large company, for instance. Um, so hopefully that the, the, those guys will play well together for filmmakers. What does that mean? Okay. So as you can see, you know, in the past couple of years, real time filmmaking, filmmaking on game engines has, uh, really coming to its own. That's something that we're going to talk about in Grape Kool-Aid uh, extensively. Uh, that's something I'm a huge proponent on. Uh, we're actually working on a project now, uh, actually working on two, two film projects, which are going to be produced in Unreal. Uh, what's the benefits you ask as a filmmaker? Well, the benefits are uh, access to tools that allow you to do uh, previs, to see your, see your piece exactly how it, it's going to look and then also be able to render in real time. So real time rendering, what does that mean? That means uh, typically if you're in a 3D application like Maya or uh, some, uh, a lot of you guys are using Blender, you've got to hit that render button, you've got to wait, right? You've got to wait uh, maybe an hour, two hours, days for your content to render out and for you to be able to see it, how it's going to look. Well, 
working inside of Unreal, working inside of Unity allows you to render that content almost in real time. So, so and then you, you get to see what you're you're going to get. So, as you can see in like this this amazing short that was done by uh, short film that was done by uh, Neil Blomacamp. A lot of you guys know who Neil Blomacamp is. Uh, Chappie, District Nine, um, Neil Blomacamp. Uh, produced this piece for Unity uh, some time back. Everything you see was a, could be accomplished and was accomplished in real time. So that allows uh, the director and the people who are creating it to see the performance of the actors, to see the performance of the people in real time. That's amazing. So that, that stuff is now available for you as a filmmaker. So, and not too far on the horizon, I've seen some great stuff with Intel, we'll also get into that, where they're actually taking live action, which is done on a green screen, and inserting it into uh, a virtual back, uh, virtual uh, environment, right? So uh, this uh, particular demo I saw was an old West town, and it was an old West film, uh, uh, you know, Western film, shot on a, on a green screen. And, but the cool thing about it was is that because it's using a virtual camera it allowed you to be able to kind of control where you wanted the camera to be just like you would in a game so really awesome stuff uh can't wait to talk about it can't wait to to uh to show you guys uh you know some of the things that i've seen um now back to algorithmic and adobe okay so uh you know adobe gets a piece of software that hopefully it's gonna uh it's going to mature into uh, being a total DCC application, not just games, but uh, games and films. Okay. Um, algorithmic and people who use algorithmic are now going to be able to get uh, that tool at a much cheaper price. Okay. So when we're talking about, uh, you know, I, there is a subscription model for, for algorithmic, Currently, for substance and for paint, uh, for designer, substance uh, painter and substance designer. Currently, that'll be folded into Creative Cloud. Creative Cloud is uh, average around forty nine dollars, uh, really fifty something with with uh, tax per month to individuals. Okay, so if you're working at a team, it's a little higher. It's like seventy nine, but in, and if you're a student, it's around twenty nine. But it allows you to be able to get access to that application you know, for, for basically 50 bucks, which um, if you're looking at their current subscription model, that, uh, you know, their current subscription model provides that, uh, you know, provides that type of access. And it also provides the access for you to be able to just like outright buy the product, which a lot of people prefer to do. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I, I was, you know, I was somebody who came to subscription services with a leery eye myself. I was used to buying products. Um, I've come around to the point where, uh, you know, being a, having it on subscription is not a bad thing. Uh, so because you get access to updates, you get access to, uh, you know, to uh, new versions of the software very quickly. Um, you know, now there are some downsides to it. And, and you know, moving with a big company like Adobe is going to make uh, those uh, downsides become a, a wholly apparent to anybody who uses uh, that tool set, he uses substance. Um, hopefully the handover will, will not, will go as smoothly. And Adobe's have learned a couple things from his acquisition with Mixamo, which currently right now we got to say is probably a failure. Um, versus, you know, their acquisition of the Macromedia suites, which was, you know, uh, everything from freehand, which got, uh, quickly dissolved and put into to, uh, Illustrator. Um, uh, um, uh, what was that other tool? Uh, free, you know, Macromedia. Oh, yeah, Flash. Yeah, so Flash became, uh, f you know, Flash, and then it became Animate, and, you know, uh, the tool grew, and it, it reached popularity, it reached its zenith, and, uh, you know, it's got its niche now. So um, Adobe... And Flash was a good thing. Adobe and Mixamo, Mixamo eh, not so much. So, you know, you know, 
we can keep, I think, I think we have to keep open minds with, with, with this purchase. Um, now back to filmmaking. If you're a filmmaker, you know, like, subscribe, follow this channel. We're going to show you how you can use these tools to, to better your filmmaking, to better uh, the immersive experience for your, your customers and your, and, and your viewers, and to try to take your filmmaking to the next level. That's what we're all about here. Okay, take it, helping you to take your filmmaking to the next level. So, um, algorithmic leading game platform uh, application is bought by one of the biggest software companies in the world. Huge news. Uh, you know, we're going to get more into it. Uh, keep an open mind. Uh, look into the software, visit their soft uh, uh, site. Uh, you can download Substance Painter and Designer right now uh, for free. Kind of look at it, uh, kick it around a little bit, see what it can do uh, for you filmmakers. That's what we're about here. You know, uh, taking away that fear of new technology, of new ways of getting things done. It's Photoshop. If you look at it like it's Photoshop, um, your deep dive will be a lot easier and uh, you can start seeing the possibilities of what it can do for you. Okay. Hey, uh, you know, it's, this is all new uh, as far as this announcement. We'll give it some time, but if you have questions, comments, tell me what you think, you know, put your comments down in the comment section. We're going to monitor every single day. We'll, we'll be get back to you. We'll engage. Hey, and also, if you guys would like to see uh, other software reviews, uh, other topics, um, you know, I've got something coming up on lenses. Uh, I don't want to break too much for this weekend, but uh, we're going to talk about the process for Enter, uh, uh, Enter the Spider-Verse, how they did it, how you can do it. Big stuff, okay? Thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Great Kool-Aid.